Hi everyone, my name is Fran Bell Ominari. Welcome to our channel Ochareo. Today we're going to speak about the Odum Eyeunle. That is the number eighth Odum in our system and divination, the Dilogum. Eyeunle is one of the Odum that speak about the brain, about the intelligence person. People that are smart are supposed to study in life like the kid of a only. When you have this sign in your Ika, in Olokum, for example, a only is telling you that you are the person that is so smart that you have the capacity to study in the university, for example. You could be the head of your organization, you could be a president, vice president, CEO, a professor, or something like that in any area of your life. And, of course, you can go to university, study, and prepare yourself for your future. But what happened? So many people go to the university. There are hundreds of thousands of students that go to different universities around the world every single year. However, how many of them get graduated? Sometimes they go, for example, 1,000 for a class, and just 300 of them get graduated. Why? Because they cut class, they don't go to class, they don't take care of themselves, because they only said, take care of yourselves, me, myself, and I. So they go to Paris, and they, they don't use this gift that they have from all of it. It's important when we have a gift, we take advantage of that. So if you have a young you know that you are ready to do in your life whatever you want to do. And no matter what age do you have, you have the possibility to study and have different certificates in the world, in your house, like for example, you are graduated and you can later uh, study your master and um, different things. That is a Yehunle. A Yehunle speaks to you about the church. When we have this odum, we are supposed to dress in white and sometimes go into the church and pray. But when you go into the church, don't light just one candle. Light, for example, a night candle for the people, the ancestors, people that pass away, but we will light candle for our elders too, because they only announce that some one of our elders could pass away, could be from our family members or could be from our religious family too. So when we go into the church, try to light different kind of for people, ancestors and people that are alive. And you can pray too. You can bow in your knee and pray. Why? Because everyone made mistakes in this life. So when you go into a church, you are supposed to pray for yourself, to do everything correct, in your life and look for forgiveness in front of all of it. This is something that is good for everyone. This Odum said Maferefun or Batala. Obatala is the king of this Odum. Every single Obatala speak in a Yehunle. Maferefun Odua. Maferefunje gua, bromu brosia, oba, olokum, jemaya, chango. In this odum, all the orichas speak. Iroko, egum. But when we speak about Iroko, we speak about the seiva tree. That extend her arms to Olofi and Olodumare. Because that, 
we when we prepare different animals, like example of that, we made the tower of Guanyang and we put it to Obatala for four days, or could be Ochanla, or in other region. We take that and we go to the Seiba and we live in, in there. In order that the Seiba take this Andimu and elevate it to Olofi and Olodumar. That's why we see in different trees around our house that we have this next to the Seiba. There are a lot of Andimuses next to the Seiba or the big tree. This Odum speaks about respect, that the jungles are supposed to respect the elders and the elders are supposed to respect the jungles. Why? Because everyone has different skills. The elders have experience and the jungles are strong and have the capacity to do so many things in life that the elders are not supposed to do. In this autumn, I speak about the brick layers, the construction, and the Yeungle. The Yeungle has a big palace and a beautiful palace and money and jewelry and so many properties because Olofi provides him with everything. But the only became arrogant and his ego was beyond his head. However, Olofi spoke with him and told him, hey, only, I didn't provide you with all of that to be arrogant in life. Opposite of that, I want that you be humble. However, hey, only didn't uh, listen the advice of Olofi. So one day, Olofi sent the stone and the stone destroyed part of the palace of Eyeunle. So Eyeunle called all the advisors of Pala and people of the Aguihim to repair that area of the palace. However, any of them could do it because they didn't have the knowledge. They didn't know how to mix the cement with the sand. So they had to call the brick layer. And when the brick layer he got there, he said, I can't I can repay that because he, that he, it was his job, the construction. So he repaid part of the palace. And then after that, he claimed uh, for his pay. And Eyeunle had to pay him with properties and land and everything. So what that means, that no matter the position that we have in life, always we need someone. The mechanic need the doctor, the doctor need the painter. The painter need the person that cook for him. Everyone, absolutely, everyone is important in life. So we are supposed to be humble. Even though we have a higher position, we are supposed to be humble and respect the others. Because that is that Eyeunle said that respect the hair, respect the elders. So many people, when they see this autumn, they said that we could separate from our elders. You don't separate from your elders if you don't want. If you respect each other, if you obey the rules and regulations of the rule of Ocha, you don't have any problem with you and the end they don't have any problem with the jungles. Just we have to consider is other like a human being. In this Odun we can see that so many people in Ita they have that they are supposed to take care of pigeons. To have pigeons in, in the house, example two pigeons and you take care for them, maybe six months, three months, sometimes a year, and after you take care of the pigeons, you feed them and everything. Later around, you go to the mountain and you pray and you liberate this pigeon. When we do that, we are sending 
the message direct to Olofi. We are speaking direct with Olofi when we do that. This is the reason that it's important that we don't kill pigeons in this autumn. Don't eat head of any animals. Because when you eat head the animal, you are eating your own head. Because remember that the head carries the body. This autumn said, take care of your head. Because the body carry the head, but the head guide our body. In Eye Unle, once a while we are supposed to, to rogate our head, to have the rogation. It's good for us. And you can rogate your head with fish, with red snapper, with catfish, or another fresh fish. But this rogation you are supposed to do with the babalawo. Something that is important in this autumn too is the ebomi seed. In this autumn, like ebomi seed, we use different herbs that these herbs belong to Obatala, like prodigiosa, yantén, frescura, algodón, bleo blanco, saúco blanco, higuereta, and then we season it. This bath with holy water, a fun cascarilla, and ori, that is the cocoa butter, cacao. With that, is enough to take bath and to clean our house. Oh. In this old room, uh, we have the, the patakin that speak about the king that passed away. And they put in his position another one, that he even was the king. What, what happened that two tribes, one tribe from the north and another one from the south, they were in the war. So the tribe of the north, they captured the king of the south and vice versa. But then later they don't have a leader. So they got the agreement to retain is king to his position. But the North try accidentally, they kill the king of the South. So they have to look for someone in the town that looked similar to the king and they found someone and he dressed him like a king. And then he went to the South and they uh, um, accomplish the agreement with the tribe of the south. What this Patakin lets us know that when one king died and passed away, they put another king in his position. This is the reason that this Odun said, me, myself, and I. You need to take care of yourself. This is something important because if something happened to you, they're going to put someone else in your position because the people in general, they need someone like a leader, someone that guide them, no matter the person that could be, but they need a guy. That's why we need to take care of our health. This all the speed that you cannot leave heavy thing, you cannot uh, uh, for example, be in helicopters, um, if you want to ride a motorcycle or a horse, you need to use to cover your head and protect your head. If you are working, for example, in the construction, this is something that is important in this autumn to stay safe of accident and that something hit your head. Because in this autumn, the head is the most important thing in our life. You have the bow, you have the bow missy. I believe that this video is going to help you in your religious life and in your personal life. Leave your comment below. Here you have my phone number for any tutorial that you need in the religion. Subscribe to the channel to receive notification about new videos. Health. 
faith and prosperity. Ya tú sabes. Oh, chaleo.